Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com and I've got another developer diary for you today. I just posted the second beta version of Chunky Orbits on Early Access and I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of the stuff I added, show you what I've been working on. Basically I've added the rest of the objects from the original version of the sim plus a few more tools, new stuff. Let's see, so um, probably the one that I have the most fun with is this rocks with trails feature. And they're just like regular chunky rocks except they leave a trail wherever they go. And these are really fun for watching the, the kind of orbits that you can make around like a white dwarf or uh, you know, the center stone or just to uh, track a rock's progress through the sand. Ooh, I got a nice triple petal thing going on here. I also like to see what kind of fun patterns you can draw uh, with the trails. It's really interesting to me how, how easy it is to get something into an orbit. Um, it may not be a stable orbit or uh, a round orbit or something, but just the way the rules of gravity work, things really want to orbit each other, <laughs> especially when one's real heavy and one's real light. Just give it a little push and it'll orbit for a little while anyway. This one's kind of pretty. It's also fun to uh, kind of like get a big group of rocks and put some trails in there and uh, watch they kind of make some really graceful kind of smooth patterns as they swirl through space um let's see oh i've also you can also now grab rocks out of the simulation so here if you see if you point at a rock you'll see it highlight it turns kind of white and then you can just hold the one the right grip button to grab it you're still using um both grip buttons to move with the pinch and pull method, but you can just use one on the right hand to grab the one that's highlighted. I can go in here and grab one out of there. You can also delete rocks now by anything, anytime you're holding a rock on your hand, just click the right uh, trackpad or stick and it'll delete it. Also works if, say, you start to res a new rock and uh, you change your mind and don't want it, just click the button while you're still holding it. Here's what I was talking about with those trails on the big group of rocks. It makes them really a pretty spiraling swirls and stuff. And let's see, oh we've got uh, we can attract and repel rocks now. Get up here. So here we go. <laughs> that is kind of like an anti-gravity effect and the attract works in the same way and the, the tracks kind of like holding a white dwarf in your hand and this isn't working exactly how I envisioned really um, there's too much energy and they get kind of spastic because they're so close to this uh, heavy uh, heavy object that when you let go they all just kind of continue and spaz out and, uh, and disperse and I was uh, and I'm planning on more of something that you can use to gather a bunch of rocks into space and then leave them there so I'll be tweaking that effect probably getting rid of the uh, realistic gravity component uh, so that it will let you manage your rocks a little better and I also have the final rock in the sim the types called the absorber and this is one that whenever it well whenever it hits something lighter than itself it kind of sucks it up and deletes the other rock and it gets bigger and heavier uh, and this is kind of fun in a big group like that or if you set up a like a big asteroid field orbiting a center stone and throw out an absorber and watch it kind of jostle the other rocks and take them over and turn into its own little planetoid. I also really like the uh, particle effect on this one. It's pretty... I need a little more, some more juicy effects like that in the same will make, they'll make their way in there eventually and more sound effects. So 
but the grabbing is a little bit fiddly right now especially when there's a lot of rocks in one space um, I'm gonna tweak that a little bit eventually also there'll be a little visual indicator about um, where the grab point is like where you can put what space will actually kick in this grab highlight and also the other tools that you're using like when you're adding a rock I need some visual indication about where that rock is going to pop up just to make things uh, more intuitive so yeah I'm pretty happy with the controls on here they're working very well and once you get used to it it's really easy to switch between all the tools and do what you want it might not be as intuitive as it could be say if I had a more a more VR kind of interface with maybe a control pad on your arm that you poked at to grab different objects and such but I do like the way this is out of the way and pretty much invisible and so it's just you and you and the rocks I'd like to hear what people think about this control panel I haven't got too much feedback on this uh, control system yet people seem to really like the pinch and pull movement uh, which I love it I wish I had this everywhere I wish I had it in unity and all my other 3D editors too. It's very intuitive and uh, quick and easy to get where you want. Oh, and speaking about just being you and the rocks, I took away the boundary on the space, the big uh, uh, kind of geodesic sphere that I had around the thing, and there's no boundary for the rocks to bounce off of anymore. So they could just float on into uh, forever, really, or at least until they bump up against the floating point errors <laughs> which is unlikely to happen at the scale everything is in here but I like that it makes it even more comfortable it, it really makes it feel like you're moving the rocks now instead of yourself uh, which uh, should really help people who are sensitive to this kind of stuff it'd be interesting to see uh, how that feels when I put the uh, particle star effect back in I keep forgetting to add that back in but if that makes people uncomfortable, I'll make it optional. Oh yeah. Um, you can also scale yourself now. It's something that uh, several people have requested on this new track version. Um, it won't come across in the video, but... Oh, I do. I don't know that much moving. It won't come across in the video, but you can shrink yourself down by or get yourself bigger by pushing up and down on this left control pad or stick. So right now, according to the Sam, I'm like 100 meters tall and these rocks, they look like uh, golf balls or whatever. And if I uh, go all the way down to the smallest, then I'll be two meters tall and these things look like it's about the size of a, a VW Bug or a car or something like that. So it's a really neat effect. Um, that might make you uncomfortable if you're prone to motion sickness because it's kind of a strange effect to stay in place and see something getting bigger and smaller in relation to you. So if that becomes a problem then maybe I can try just having a small, medium and large setting so you switch between them quickly. I think that would probably be more comfortable. But switching scale in VR is always cool. It's one of my favorite parts about VR is the perceived scale of everything. See, trails, absorber, attract, repel, delete, grab stuff. Yeah, that's all the new items. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a couple weeks now until the next beta because uh, I have to go back to Crash Lander and finish up the big 3.0 update that I was working on when I got the touch controllers and then I got chunky orbits on the... Um, through steam green light so I'll go back this week my plan is to go back and finish up that big update for crash lander and get that out so I can go ahead and move forward with the rest of my projects and these these couple of small projects that I've done lately with the touch have really helped me to wrap my head around how to use the controllers um, both actually just coding for them and actually how to think about designing a game with them because it's it's a whole nother ball of wax it's really interesting but I've got some really good ideas from it. I'm used to using them now and I'm really excited to get um, going on my next big project, Xenofarm. And there's also, I did uh, last week a 
Dev Diary about Zeno Farm. If you're interested in watching that, it's here on my YouTube channel. So there's the new version of Chunky Orbits. Go ahead, give it a try, and uh, let me know what you think. I'm, I've got some really great feedback so far. I'm pretty excited about that. This uh, early access is working really well for me so far. So give it a try. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.